Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy. <clears throat> uh, last night I was trying to take this uh, FR Sky radio, it's the X10S Express, and load Horus on it. I've loaded, it came with Froze, and I upgraded it to the OpenTX, and I'm a noob to the FR Sky radios. I usually have uh, Spectrum or Futaba, but I just always wanted to try to set up all my gear on the same radios. But now I wanted to put Horus in there. And the other night, it's been a few nights, I've been going crazy trying to load this up. And what happened in the end, I'm going to show you. Here's the batteries. Batteries are in there. They're fully charged. I don't know what happened, but I deleted even the master file of the radio so even if I sit here and push this button I get no power at all now I got a screenshot thing running in the background here I'm gonna try to show you what I figured out and hopefully it helps anybody else that has what they call bricked radio it doesn't power up or anything um, so let's get to it um, the first thing I'm gonna do and what everybody should do when you come into this problem is I gotta use another SD card but I'm gonna push on the SD card here and I'm gonna take out the SD card I'm gonna grab my little formatting tool here it's just an SD reader I'm gonna put it in it's gonna pop up it has data on it right now but it's crashed um, so what I'm gonna do is right click hit format fat 32 is default I named it ethos hit start okay formats complete this SD card has nothing on it now I'm gonna remove it the bad way Drop my SD card reader down. Let me shut that off. Now, I'm going to put it back in the radio. Of course, if you know these things, it's facing up and the copper leads face up, or whatever you want to call them. I have to use another SD card to get in and out. All right, now that I erased everything, like I said, it's got batteries and everything. Now it's totally erased. This radio is brain dead. Alright, so what I found out after pulling all my hair out and punching a few walls, um, I did listen to a bunch of people on the forums. There was some guy that never even did it and he tried to show me how to do it and that bothered me because if you never did it, don't try to explain how it's done. Uh, other problem I noticed, these little buttons fall out. Somebody tell me how to fix them. Right now I'm going to leave it on the floor where it is. But let's get back to it. Um, so now what I did is on the screen here I'll show you. I downloaded um, the beta version which is 0 0.0.17 and also I have um, the 1.0.17 one so someone said to use that one so I will do it but the first thing I want to tell you is this thing's dead and even though I'm gonna plug in the USB it's gonna make a noise it's gonna make the old Windows noise by the way I got Windows 10 here so it makes a noise it shows a removable drive but it's not it that's my SD reader all right and the light comes on and what I notice for a period of time that light will pop off what I would recommend people doing is this impulse IC driver fixer run that first before you do anything and this is what it looks like it's installing the DFU driver because someone said I might have lost that driver completely 
so even though it bleeped so install this first it's going to take some time and hopefully my screenshot thing is picking this up because you really can't see it with the camera angle here so we'll wait for this to finish do 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 well while that's doing that over here you can see I have a folder that's uh, ethos 1.01 .01. I was gonna load the beta version alright don't worry about this error it's thinking that Google's open but it's not just said okay so the driver's been fixed now the next thing we need is I'm gonna open up this folder this is the 1.01 .01 ethos these are the two files I could find on wiki I unzipped them they're right here um, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open companion. Alright, so companion is open right now. If you hit any of the buttons, it really isn't going to do anything, so I'm not going to do it. It just drove me nuts last night. But Click on the right to radio button. Hit load. And look for your file. I have the file right there, the 1.01 .01 ethos. And go to the 10 X10 Express folder, and you'll see um, the bootloader. Load this bootloader. It's going to give you an error that it may not be a valid file, but just hit OK and hit Write to TX. When it says finished, flashed you'll be done okay so it says flashing done now someone had told me to hit right disk again load go back to this do the firmware but that didn't do anything that messed up the radio um, I just listening to a bunch of people like I said I'm a noob and um, it was very easy to go to open TX but um, let me cancel out of this um, because now you don't even need the companion anymore. We'll close that up. And I'm going to disconnect from the back of the radio. All right. And now I'm going to hit the power button. And now it turns blue. It goes into a sort of ethos, but if I hit OK, and then it comes up with this error, everything is screwed up. You know, there's nothing here. So then at that point shut it off and I guess you could have skipped that by looking but the bootloader on this always worked with these two sliders and the button after you put that bootloader in you have to use the wheel and the button see that was another confusing thing and now it says bootloader but before by squeezing these and hitting that I got a white window that said right to radio and that was confusing me because everybody was like what are you talking about? It was a white screen. It said white right to radio or USB data. But now with the bootloader in, it goes to bootloader by the scroll wheel pushed in and the power. Okay, so that's loaded up now. The reason for this is you don't need companion anymore. Because that messed up a lot of stuff when I kept trying to use that. You plug this in and now it says USB plugged on the screen. All right. Now it shows you, it opened up the G window here. Like I said, I lost the other drive. It used to, this radio had two drives before. One you couldn't mess with the files and the other one, I still don't know where it is, but it's missing. So now the G, the G folder opened up, which is the radio. It does have files on here, <clears throat> but now you need to go to the X Express folder, grab the firmware, drag it over here let that load go back a page here uh, sorry 101 ethos you want a Horus SD folder that you unzipped it has the audio and the bitmaps drag them over and you're dragging this over to the radio now so there's no use for companion and last night I kept using companion going back and forth and and just a big pain in the butt 
but try to do this real time I might speed up all this crap but hopefully I got a screenshot thing running you'll see the screen going Now after this what we're going to do is just disconnect the SB, the USB plug on the back and it should start loading the firmware. I kept trying and trying and trying to get to that point and it wouldn't work. And I've been trying to find this radio on YouTube trying to see if anybody did one and you really don't see it. So now it says it's complete. This is what's on right here. This is what's on the in the radio's SD card now nothing else nothing more so I'm gonna take the radio and I'm just gonna unplug the USB and now it's gonna start writing the firmware and bring it up there for you yeah anybody knows any tips on these buttons I've been putting a little dabby of silicone and putting them on but they don't last they pop right off again kind of a crap design on this okay now it it's done it doesn't tell you it's done but it's complete with that loading bar it goes back to the bootloader just push the button one time the power button boom and off it goes all right so now all we got to do is reboot select the language English I don't know what these are it says storage error uh, if anybody can explain to that what it means, hit OK. The sticks are not calibrated. But now it goes right into the calibration mode. So I'm pretty sure that Ethos is on here, if anybody can let me know. But I'm pretty sure Ethos is on here. I will do the calibration and everything later. But that's what I got to, and I think I finally got it. And I just did this video to see if it would help anybody. That's dumb like me. Alright, this is Cruz Roy and I'm out of here.